Well, hello and welcome to Math 152. Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I'm going to walk you through and give you a brief tour of the class. Uh, it'll only take a couple minutes. So when you uh, open up Ohm, you're going to see an announcement like this. Now keep in mind that um, I'm recording, recording this video in summer of seven, 2017. However, I'll probably use the same one next time. So um, the dates might not work for yours, but the layout of the course will be the same. So you'll have your announcements when you first walk in and um, it's important to read those, of course. I do email the same announcements to you every week. So you can read it through your email or um, when you log into mom or ohm, sorry. I'm getting trying to get used to calling it ohm instead of mom because we just switched. So it says to go to the experience one folder. We have eight experiences all together in the course. So let's do that. We'll click on experience one and you must have gone to the start here, which is how where I wanted you to go and the watch this first. So you're watching this video. Um, and below there is a place to post your autobiography. I love to see a picture of you if you can post one of those. Uh, you can also add a picture of yourself um, under user settings. Let me click on that. Uh, so see I've added a picture of myself there. You can do the same and your little picture will show up in the forums. Um, so uh, you can introduce yourself and then take the syllabus quiz and a link to the actual syllabus is right here. Syllabus quiz is about 10 question and it's just to make sure that you have a good understanding of the course. The equation editor forum um, can be a little tricky. It's getting used to, some of you might have never typed math much before. So it's trying to get you used to clicking on this little um, equation editor button here that looks like a funny looking E and a plus sign. And then once you click on that, you want to type between those little, um, they look like sort of quotation marks. And if you hit enter, then it'll make it like pretty math for you. So there are eight questions there to do. And um, there's a video on how to put the graph in because a lot of people get stuck on that one. So it may take you a little time and you're allowed to look at what other people have there. So feel free to do that. Then uh, an entering answers in Ohm is to get used to putting answers in the homework assignments. All right, so um, after you've gone through there, to get back to where you were, just click on the breadcrumbs. If I click on this breadcrumb, it takes me back here and I can go to the next folder, which is course information. So course information has a calendar, but your calendar is also right here, the same one. Um, and then your textbook information, of course your textbook, textbook doesn't cost a dime. Um, you can order it off from Amazon for like $15 plus shipping, but you really don't need to because it's all um, within the course and you can print it off yourself uh, maybe for cheaper um, or if you're just one of those people who really has to have a printed book, you can order one. Uh, another link to the syllabus just to make sure we have it everywhere. Questions about the course, let me click on that one. It's a forum, so when you click on it, there might not be anything there, but if you want to add a new forum post, click on add new thread, put a subject in if you want, and then type your question and hit post thread. All right, so to get back to where I was, I just click the breadcrumb. Um, my information is on this link right here. I just click on it and you can learn a little bit about me. And uh, late passes, you get 20 late passes. So if you need an extra day to do your homework or quiz, just click on use late pass. Um, this little thing will pop up next to the assignment if, it, if late passes are allowed. Click on it, you get one extra day. You can use multiple late passes on an assignment and you have 20. About gradebook um, helps you understand how to read the gradebook a little bit better. Um, so read through that. And technical help if you have any problems. Most of your issues can be um, found here. If you can't find a solution to your issue, email me. And um, accessibility, uh, Ohm has very good accessibility options if you need those. Um, 
again, I, I'd like to hear from you and we can make sure that you have everything you need. So um, experience one, learning outcomes. If you click on that, it tells you what you're going to be learning. And then um, it tells you what's going to be due. And your textbook reading is, that's where you're going to get your main um, source of information. And sometimes there'll be a note there because students find mistakes. And once they do, I post it in here. Um, if you want to also watch some videos, you can watch videos. But the book is really more comprehensive than the videos. And then there's a homework assignment and a critical thinking assignment. So homework is um, a check to make sure that you're getting what you're supposed to learn. Um, and then critical thinking should be done after the homework when you hopefully have a little bit better understanding. Um, so critical thinking is sort of like a, a, like an essay um, on an exam. You really want to put your best foot forward on that. Make sure you're using proper grammar and spelling. Um, capitalize the first letter of a sentence in your eyes. Um, I say that because a lot of students don't and they lose points for that. Um, but it should be your best writing um, for those assignments. And then there's a link here to, to ask questions. Anything about experience one that you want to ask questions, you can use this, this link. And then again, add new thread and ask your question. All right, so as I said, there are eight experiences. You do them one at a time. You can work ahead. And they all look generally the same. You have your outcomes, your textbook reading, um, videos, homework. Sometimes there's a quiz. So quizzes, once you click on that, you have to take it because the clock starts and does not stop if you close out. Um, and then critical thinking assignment and a place to ask questions. So that is basically the layout of the course. And um, over here, you can get direct links to your messages. Uh, I will send you, be sending you messages, and you can send each other messages. Forums, if you click on that, it shows you all the forums for the course, so it's another quick link to get there. Um, calendar, um, I click on that. It's the same calendar that you saw in course information. Uh, course map uh, kind of shows you, it's, it's another way to get someplace quicker. So if you're looking for experience for the midterm exam, you can click on the course map and it'll might be an easier way to get there. I don't know. Uh, grade book is your grade book. And if I click on it, it's going to tell me I'm not a student, so I won't do that. And make sure you log out, especially if you're not at home. And if you need any help using Lumen Ohm, you can click here. You'll notice that the same quick links, quick links, at least some of them are up at the top here. If you need to adjust any user settings, change your email, your name, anything, add a picture, um, then you can do that under user settings. And uh, my classes will be a quick link to your other own classes. Mine might be the only one, but just in case. And I believe that's it. I hope I didn't take too much of your time and I look forward to working with you this semester.